Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty here on NCAA 10. Now, last episode, we did finish off the recruiting special and got our first ever commit to come to Long Beach State. But before hopping into this matchup versus San Jose State, let's just check out another non-conference matchup, this time versus Florida State. And look at us. We are winning this game by almost 30 points, 62 to 34. Dominant fashion. How about that game? I mean, just absolutely crushing the competition. And that is a great way to get two weeks off going into this San Jose State matchup. Now, the leading scorer is their point guard, Chapman, Sproles, and Grossman. They are all pretty good. And honestly, this is going to be an interesting game because I really, really, I really, really enjoy playing uh, this series. And honestly, the competition is just so good because, you know, you can never count yourself out of a game and you can never, you know, let off the gas because the CPU is very, very good at staying in these games. Now, going up against San Jose State. What do I want to do? I want to really, really get good shots. I mean, that is definitely a high priority here because I want to see Wendell Caesar go off. I haven't seen him go off for a big game yet. I want to see Zion Storm getting a double-double, triple-double. Let's see if we can get it here in this game as San Jose State does win the tip. So let's see if we can play some good defense. Missed shot by San Jose State. And nice play inside by Hellcott, showing some D off, passing up to court to Caesar who gets ripped right away in a fast break opportunity for San Jose State. They end up slowing it up. So here's a layup inside and that is gonna be good. And that will be two, the first two for San Jose State. They start out this game with the easy bucket. So passing around inside to Takashi. Takashi out to Wendell Caesar who hits a corner three and we get on the board first off of that three point bucket. So now a 4-3 to three game. Let's see if we can play some more defense. They work it inside, and that is good. Jump shot there from the post, and it's now an early lead for San Jose State. So pick and roll. The dish out to open J.D. Joyner, who does shoot that one just a little bit long. Those will fall, though. He is a three-point shooter. As remember, we did put him into the starting lineup after starting the season. Coming off of the bench, we needed kind of a score, but it didn't work out. Here's a step back three, and that is Zion Storm over a big man. And that one ties this game up at six apiece. Here's some more defense inside. Rebounded, and Storm pushing it up the court. Let's see what he does, dribbling around here, setting up the offense, swinging it around to Caesar, though, for another corner three. That's his second of the early parts of this game. And that makes it nine to six. But early on in this game, we start to go on a little slump here, missing some shots. Here's a rebound this time by Zion Storm, pushing it up the court. Let's see what he does. He goes to the bucket and he has an easy layup and he's gonna blow it. So interesting there, Zion Storm, that's the thing. You know, he is five foot 10, but thing, one thing that he struggles with is really getting buckets on the inside. As you can just see, now we're starting to miss open threes. Joyner misses two of them. So now in a 12 to 11 game, here's some defense inside, but another offensive rebound by San Jose State, but they still only cling to a one point lead. But then we start to play some really good defense. Here's an easy one missed by San Jose State. Here we are pushing it up the court. Here's Joyner. He's gonna take it all the way inside and that is a bucket there for Joyner. He's usually known as a three point shooter, that time getting in the lane in transition. So some more D this time. Rebound by Spratley coming off the bench. He's going to push it up the court. And look at this. He's going to take it all the way inside. Dunking the ball. Over three defenders. It's 16 to 13 now. Good defense this time by Caesar. Push it up the court. That looks like Howard who has the ball. He's going to pass it out. And it looks like it's going to be CS Bands who takes it all the way inside. Remember, CS Band started this season out in the starting lineup, and for defensive purposes, I like him coming off of the bench. He's definitely our best perimeter defender. So rebound this time by Buster Howard, working it around. Caesar, open three, and he nails it. He's got three three-pointers here in the first half, and it's kind of stretching to a big lead here, 21-13. More defense this time. Spratley steals it. Joyner passing it back to Caesar. He's going to lay it in. That's actually Spratley. 
and that one is going to be a transition bucket here for the freshman, and that's Joseph Spratley the third. But here is San Jose State playing a little bit of defense in transition and getting the easy layup that time, bringing it back to a six-point game. So two minutes left here in the first half. There is Buster Howard on the inside. He is our best low post player, and I like to get him the ball inside for those easy buckets. But San Jose State still keeping it close. That is a jump shot that time by their point guard, bringing it to a four-point game. Now 25 to 21, another drive, and that is good. Zion Storm doesn't have the best on ball defense, and I kind of contribute that to his size, and he lets a lot of guys get past him. So now we milk it here for the last shot of the first half. Zion Storm working it around to Baz Helcott, who goes up, and it's going to be off the mark. And now it is just a two-point lead here going into halftime, 25-23. Now I saw some good things from this team. I knew those shots would start falling there in the first half after we missed a couple of open shots, J.D. Joyner especially. But now here we go into the second half with a two-point lead. So now we start the second half, and I honestly have been playing. We've been playing pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty impressed by the defense especially. Here's a steal already to start out here. Storm driving the lane. Does he make this one? And he does. 27 to 23. Nice easy bucket in transition. So back out on D. Let's see if the defense can continue. Driving the lane once again, and that is the thing. Storm does not have the best on-ball defense and he gives up an easy one as he pushes it up the court this time, looking for a pick and roll. He's going to drive to the lane, and he lays it up and in. That one is good. Storm showing what he can do with that high screen and roll. So now a 29-25 to game, another drive to the basket, and another basket given up by Zion Storm. That defense is going to start. We're going to have to start kind of shading that and kind of hiding that and disguising it. So here is a pass inside, and that is an easy bucket that time playing the little two-man game. We tried to double-team him that time, and it didn't work. So now 29 up. Here is Caesar on the inside. He gets the ball ripped, and here is San Jose State pushing it back up the court. So still, still a tie ball game this time, working it to the post. A jump shot, and it's good. San Jose State takes the lead here. They're shooting 46% from the field. But not so fast. Here is Caesar, but he misses that one. And now they can serve this two-point lead as San Jose State has possession and a lead. This time, they're going to work it on the inside. Let an entry pass go inside, and that is good. Another bucket given up by Zion Storm. You can already see they're taking advantage of that defensive matchup they have on the smaller guard. So here, working it around this time. Storm with a corner three, though. He gets him back. And it's back to a three-point game now, 35 to 32. So let's see if we can finally play some defense. They work it around this time to the corner. Inside again, and another bucket by their point guard. He is absolutely going off this game. So now Storm here with the ball, down 37-32, driving the lane, and that's just a bad shot. Never go in the land of the Giants here. He's only 5'10". But we do get a defensive stop here as we work the ball around. Joyner works it around, this time all the way to Storm in the corner, and he hits the three. And it looks like he's starting to heat up there. Two corner threes. So 35 to 37. Let's see if we can play some D. Buster Howard in the post, and he gets the shot hit over him, and it's back to a four-point lead. Now we're trying to work the ball around. Here's Storm, another deep two this time. All right, now he is officially on fire. If he's given up defensive plays, at least come on the offensive end and show what you got. So here is Joyner in transition, pushing the ball up the court, working it around this time. We're going to try to get the ball to Storm, but look at this. Spratly drives it all the way inside in the contact. No foul called on that one. So still 37-39. This time Spratly. On the wing, working around a joiner. Joiner, working it around. They do play this tough 3 2 zone. This is kind of tough to beat. We work it around the joiner for an open three, and he hits it. That's a one point lead here in the second half with five minutes to go. And we are playing some pretty good defense. They have not scored in the last two minutes. Here's a jump shot, and another shot given up 
by Zion Storm. That point guard is just abusing him this game. Working it around this time, but Maye to the corner. And Joyner tries to drive inside, and he makes it with the contact. Joyner, how about that? Showing what he can do driving the lane. So after a missed bucket this time, Storm still in the game, and he passes it around this time to Caesar. Caesar stops and pops the three. It's a four-point lead here with four and a half to go. So finally some defense here. Storm gets the steal. Nice deflection by Hellcott. And Storm lays it up in transition. He has been our go-to scorer in this game. So San Jose State now lead, or down by six points. Re offensive rebound laid up and in. We got to have those rebounds. We cannot allow those easy buckets inside. And now it is just a four-point game. So we're getting around the perimeter. This time Storm open three, and it's going to be just off the mark. I thought that one was going to bounce in. So Storm's got to miss some time, but here is Bands working around. This time it's London off the bench. You have not heard his name at all. That is an ugly jump shot, but it goes in, and it stretches this lead. Now we're at 50 to 45 here, under two minutes left. So working it inside, San Jose State, and it's laid up. It's now a three-point game. So here is Caesar on offense, working it inside to Takashi. Takashi posting up a little bit, and here he gets an easy one, and it can't go in. And now San Jose State can at least bring this to a one-point game. But good defense that time by London getting some playing time. CS Bands taking it inside, laying it in, and it's good in transition. A five-point lead here with 40 seconds to go. So can we come up with a stop here? Storm in the game. I don't know why we have Storm in here on a defensive possession as here he is playing some defense but ripped away from Caesar and Caesar actually deflects it to the San Jose State offensive player and they get the bucket there but now down by three they have to foul here and with two seconds left we try to run out the clock and we get it to point two and that one just won't be enough. They need to foul one more time. Not enough time on the clock in Long Beach State wins this game by three as Zion Storm goes for 20 and three rebounds. Gave up a lot of points on the defensive end, but definitely hit the big shots. He hit, hit three threes and honestly was very, very good on offense. He was our go-to scorer this game. Great offensive effort and defensive effort, gotta say, because remember, we in the first half, we were playing very, very good defense and those defensive possessions turned into points in transition and just uh, points off of turnovers. And honestly, we had a very good game inside. Hellcott or Takashi didn't score a bucket at all, but they played excellent defense this game. And then Buster Howard came in. He had some pretty good minutes off the bench as well. And our big men definitely shined in this one. And Caesar went for 12, and obviously Zion Storm went for 20, and then uh, Joyner went for seven as well. Chapman, their leading scorer, went for 18. Pretty good game from him, but we end up with the win. So we move on to a couple of games after this, and I want to get through the non-conference schedule here in this episode. We end up winning our next game, moving above 500, and we are we did win that game 75 to uh, 60. What was that? 75 to 60. I don't remember now. Arizona State comes back and beats us, though, and they beat us down. We already lost once to them. Now we lose twice. And they just absolutely dominated us in the first half. It was 55 to 31. And we end up with another loss. Then we play Sam Houston State, and we lose again 77 to 74 in this one. As you can just see, Zion Storm, only seven points in that game. And honestly, if Caesar doesn't have a good game scoring and Storm doesn't have a good game scoring, we could be in trouble. But Delmatrice Bomaye did have 16 off of the bench. And that's kind of how we end non-conference play. Seven and six going into it. And I am excited to play some of these conference teams, to be honest. And I don't think we did too bad. You know, out of 13 games going seven and six, that's not too bad there in non-conference play. We didn't make our schedule too hard this year. I think next year what we're going to do is add some harder games in there in non-conference. I definitely wanted to warm up this season 
and see what we got first before hopping into the deep end and kind of giving ourselves a chance. You know, I don't want to just like play all the hard teams all right away and then just spoil the season. You know, I want to give these guys some confidence and get them going into the flow before, you know, getting into conference play. So looking at our leaders, uh, you know, Caesar and Zion Storm are definitely going to be our one, two in scoring. And I really like what I have off of the bench from Howard. He rebounds the ball extremely well. I mean, he is very, very good. Ha Bass Hellcott's doing pretty good inside as well. J.D. Joyner is showing that he can score the ball. He's averaging 7.4. And I I'm ex very, very excited. I'm very, very optimistic about this team going into conference play. And here are the teams in our conference. If you did not know, we are in the Big West. UC Santa Barbara, though, 11-2. And, and Cal State Fullerton, 9-3 to start the season. They are off to very, very good starts. And we play Santa Barbara first on the schedule here in conference play. So we play the best team right away. UC Santa Barbara, UC Davis, Cal Poly, UC Riverside, and Fullerton are our first five games. I can't wait to get into the conference play. And that will do it here in this episode. I wanted to play a California team before hopping into conference play, and I'm excited for this Long Beach State team. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications. Life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's. And I bought a pair of shades. And I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left. Spent the rest on.